How did Liz's day get started? I guess that would be me since it was uh, a little idea I had. Uh, I played softball with Ginny and Meg and we were actually scheduled to play a game at the rec center. And the Floral Park Rec Center. We were informed that uh, Lizzie had taken a turn for the worst and nobody was really interested in playing. So as I sat on the bench and we looked out at the beautiful rec center, I said, you know what, what a shame. We have this beautiful rec center. Why don't we do something to raise awareness, to raise, you know, just a little fundraiser. And uh, everybody said, oh, that, yeah, great idea, sure, fine. So um, I was actually at uh, Trinity's local establishment for brunch. Establishment is short for bar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. In Floral Park. And, and uh, <laughs> yeah, well, then I won't tell you who was actually there, but um, I was on my way to the wake. And um, I was throwing my ideas to friends of mine. And just as I was throwing these ideas, who comes walking out from having lunch was our ma former mayor, Steve Corbett, mm -hmm. and uh, another bro board of trustees, Nancy McLaughlin. And I can remember to this day standing on the bar still saying, just the man I need to see. <laughs> and he came over and I had a napkin and I said, I have some ideas. And I started in with my ideas, writing everything down. And Steve just looked at me like this and I can see Nancy McLaughlin goes, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah, I like that idea. Mm, mm. You know, so everything. Where did you write your ideas down? Was it on a cocktail? Oh, I had a cocktail number right there on the bar. <laughs> right there on the bar. The best ideas come out of cocktail <laughs> numbers. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But like I said to the girls I was with, I said, you know what? Before we can do anything, I have to ask. I mentioned it to Jen, uh, Meg when I got to the wake, and I said, I don't want to do anything unless it was okay with the uh, McFarland family. And. Um, and Liz's day was born. Mm -hmm. It was. How can the community help you? I open it to any or all of you. Well, I would say first and foremost, by coming out and supporting our day as they have for the last 12 years, um, that to me is the most important thing, to just whether you want to stop down for five minutes, an hour, three hours, spend the entire day, but just to come out and support us, we right. greatly appreciate that. So that's my... Well, I have one more thing to add yeah. to that. Please. Um, uh, for donations, I think it, the important thing, we, we know, uh, being in the community, how much the local businesses are, you know, ask for donations for the baseball and the, everything else. We realize that, but we ask for support. It doesn't mean it has to be, you know, a free dinner or whatever they can afford to give us that we then put together and make it a value package. That's where we could mm -hmm. use this, more of the support of the businesses in the community. And, and besides the businesses, I mean, sometimes you might get, get as a gift something that is brand new, mm -hmm. you're not going to use, okay? If it's, I don't know, say an extra set of pots if you were at a, uh, your bridal shower and say, you know, should I return it? Should I, you know what? Let me take it. Let me give it to them and see if they can raffle it off. Somebody might need a set of pots. That's so a great what I'm idea. Saying, so what they do, they make these gorgeous baskets, and they sit there, and they'll put together a little basket of, of brand new items that somebody may, for a dollar, put in and bring.